Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steel from Fino Concept, and this is the Unstink VCT 880 Professional Tripod. This is the tripod that most of my photographer, videographer friends are using. But why is that? Let's find out. So inside the bag is this nice bag that they included and just open it up reveals the tripod also wrapped around in this nice case for us. Ah, this thing is heavy. So once I take it out, you can see that there's also a user manual which you should definitely read. Oh, can't get this thing out. Oh! And the tripod itself it's an all black design like most out there at least the ones I've seen so far and it's mostly aluminium with a few plastics here and there and like most tripods when you open up these clamps you can extend the legs for a height increase or shorten them up if you want to go on the low the maximum number of clamps to deal with are just two so that is good for me for my old tripod I could add more weight to it cause it's fairly light and easy to carry around but it does wobble a lot and it makes it very unreasonable to put expensive camera and lenses on it. Unfortunately though, we don't get a hook at the center bottom here to attach more weight to help balance it. But honestly, for the build quality, this tripod alone is already heavier and is even steadier on its own. So I don't think I'll be using that feature any moment. Unless of course I switch to a red camera anytime soon. <laughs> For panning, that is horizontally, you just loosen up this screw. Once locked, it becomes extremely hard to move it. Same goes for tilting, just loosen up the top screw and you are good to go. One amazing feature of this is the fluid 360 degree pan in its office. And if that's not enough, they are graduated on the bottom. Imagine setting a focus or a specific point in your head and then panning to that specific mark without your subject being out of focus. That is super awesome. And these markings are not just for panning alone, tilting or vertical motion is also considered. And just as that, you see the graduation on both the front and the back. The quick release plate is among the nicest I've seen so far. Just flick it on the side up and the plate just pops into your hand. In case you are unsure whether your camera is mounted or not, the simple free lock indication helps as much. Notice this thing right here. Once you push down, the mounting plate will remain in the locked position. The remounting is as simple as sliding to the side and pressing down hard on the midsection. The quick release plate uses the quarter inch system, so I think you have a fair idea the number of items you can mount on this device. It also feels premium, although it's an all plastic design. I'll say it passes the build quality and durability test over time. And the cool idea of not needing a crane to always screw this in place is something i missed this is not the case for most gimbal mounts you always have to have a crane with you take note this simple trick can save you a ton of time sometimes you have everything in order but the mounting plate will just not lay flat and lock well before you mount your camera take a second or two to make sure that the screw turner let's call it that for now is lying flat I've had this happen to me once and it was quite frustrating. I kept slamming the camera on the tripod several times trying to get it to lock and it wasn't working because this thing was up. On the side is the integration of a mini level which you can always use to make sure that you are well balanced. And just like every level for camera accessories, it's very simple to follow. Just adjust the legs of the tripod until the bubble stays at the center of the mini circle. For the height, it's rated to be 8 tallest at 165 centimeters, which is about 10 centimeters shorter than myself. But if you decide to go crazy and close up the legs some more, you can go even higher. Unfortunately, when the legs are closer to each other, it's not going to be as steady as it would be if they were opened up. Compared to my older Zome K111 tripod, here's how it looks at their maximum height. Another cool thing that some tripod makers also ignore is being able to adjust the handle at will. Sometimes, just sometimes, shooting with the handle this way is the way to go. Way. <laughs> and that locking screw is just in front and away from the shooter. Once loosening up, you are free to assume whichever handling position you feel comfortable with. And even though I love this tripod so much, I wouldn't be using this on the daily. 
and here is why yes i know this is more expensive unlike the zomi but just for the fact that they ignore the side grip it's a huge bummer imagine i have slippery hands and i have to be moving it from one point to the other it becomes quite uncomfortable another thing is it's quite heavy 20 80 grams and even though it says lightweight on the box i think i will disagree with them on this one and it's for this reason that i think this is not the tripod for you when you just want to go on a morning hike or just want to take a picture of the sunset so for that i'll still be using my zome tripod which is lightweight and easy to carry around and since it's so small and lightweight i can easily hang it on my camera bag and forget about it but if video is a priority for you and you don't mind the weight then this is definitely the one to go for last thing you you think also have another tripod that is the 860 which is quite similar to this in a lot of ways but the feet are adjustable unlike this one so if you are someone who shoots in the snow or sand a lot that's some extra protection for you you can just screw up and dig tiny holes when you fix the tripod down and this should somewhat make it much steadier so since i've said a lot about the zome tripod let's go for the zome right well not exactly and by the way if you're interested in watching the review of the zome i'll leave it up here in the cart or down in the description below but for me i wouldn't recommend that being your primary tripod and the reason for this is when it comes to panning or tilting the zome is among the worst i've seen so far nothing you record is going to be smooth and you know what just take a look at this footage right here and with this i'm trying my possible best to move steadily and smoothly but notice how much jitters is produced almost as if i drank coffee and can't keep my hands steady but when i switch to the yun stang <laughs> the jitters aren't as drastic note that i'm recording all of these at 24 frames so that you at least have a real time performance of how this is going to work for you in case you get one the last thing is it can hold a maximum of five kilograms or 11 pounds if you live in the us so for 450 500 ish ghana cities is this the tripod for you well if you haven't decided after watching this video for this long then let me make it quite easy for you if you are going to be having two shooters one main and the other is going to be moving about a lot then definitely get this one this is going to be your main tripod which is going to be stationary at most times then the lower budget ones can be moving about like the zome for example but if you're someone who isn't so much concerned with the panning and the tilting and the jitters and all of that and you want something lightweight that you don't have to be worrying about carrying from one place to the other then this isn't the tripod for you for me i'll just say get one as your main get this as your main then you can get a budget one for your secondary shooter and that is just okay so thank you guys for watching as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and other channels which i have them linked below and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is still from Fino concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, charlie Cocos, Chama, me facho, me recordia de un detenido de abajo en cada uno ya. Pero ya facho me. The quick, the quick, really.